Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my channel, Science of Life, with Dr. Mohamed Yusuf. I am going to discuss the mechanism of hearing. We were talking about the organs of Kata'i and its stimulation. We will continue that uh, uh, discussion today. But before that, one ayah from Holy Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kunu qawwa meena lillahi shuhada bil qist. وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَانُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ لَا تَعَدِلُوا اَعْدِلُوا هَوَا قَرَبُ لِلتَّقْوَىٰ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ اِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ ایمان والو ترجمہ بورا دیکھ لیں اس دن بھی شاید میں نے یہی آیت رگائی تھی کہ ایمان والو تم اللہ کی خاطر حق پر قائم ہو جاؤ اور راستی اور انصاف کے ساتھ گوائی دینے والے بن جاؤ حق کے لیے جائے درست گوائی دینے والے اور کسی قوم کی عداوت تمہیں کس خلاف عدل پر آمادہ نہ کرے پیچھے دیکھیں وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَعَنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ اللَّهَ تَعْدِلُوا کہ کسی قوم کی دشمنی تمہیں عدل سے اٹھائے نہیں کہ تم اس قوم کے دشمنی میں اس کے خلاف گوائی دے دو نہ عدل کی گوائی دینی ہے اور تمہیں خلاف عدل پر آمادہ نہ کرے کسی قوم کی عداوت ہے عدل کیا کرو جو پریزگاری کے زیادہ قریب ہے اور اللہ تعالیٰ سے ڈرتے رہو یقین مانو اللہ تعالیٰ تمہارے عمال سے بخبر ہے اللہ پاک ہمیں سمجھ عمل کی توفیق دعا فرمائے زیادتی کسی صورت میں بھی نہیں کرنی چاہے وہ دشمن کے ساتھ ہو معاملہ حق کے ساتھ تحتیح کرنا ہے گوائی حق کے ساتھ دینی So we discussed the function of the organ of Kata'i. It is sensitive to vibration and lies on the basilar membrane. A few slides are leaving probably these are the repetition of the previous lecture. But how is this organ stimulated? So organ of Kata'i lies on the basilar fibers on the basilar membrane there are hair cells we talked about they are the internal hair cells about 3500 internal hair cells which have got the diameter of about 12 micrometer they are arranged in single row and then then there are external hair cells about 15000 and having diameter of 8 micrometer and they are arranged in three to four rows so bases of the hair cells are surrounded by the uh, this uh, cochlear nerve fiber they are in in um, um, embedded in the bases of the cells so nerve fibers go to these cochlear nerve fiber will go to the spiral ganglion of cotai in on the modulus last lecture we discussed from the spiral ganglion fiber go to the cochlear nuclei we will discuss this in next lecture wo jo hamara asli lecture hai aaj to thodi si baatein discuss kar le so this structure that is this is basilar fiber and the hair cell this is diagram exact arrangement hair cells and there is the um, um, bases are surrounded by the cochlear nerve fiber those cochlear nerve fiber they are going to the spiral ganglion of cotai there is tectorial membrane to which the hairs are in contact and the um, then what else basilar fibers are their outer hair cells etc agebi our diagram aegi samjhane ke these small hairs are stereocilia, they are projecting from the hair cell, they are known as hair cells because of those stereocilia on uh, top of these hair cells and they are in contact or embedded in the tectorial membrane, your diagram we have seen. Length of the hair increases in the uh, direction from uh, away from the modulus, not very important length increases this is length increases away from the uh, away from the modulus modulus agar idhar hai to length increases and they are uh, interconnected and when these hair cells they bend as a unit as a aapas mein mile hue upper ends of the cilia are bound, bound together by thin filament so the uh, tectorial membrane is in the scalar media this is very important tectorial membrane on which these hairs are in contact that is in scalar media there is a reticular lamina which is separating the scala vestibular tympani from the scala media or the um, perilymph from the endolymph. Endolymph is very positive. We have endocochlear potential. Then we have to slide again. So tectorial membrane in the scala media and the bending of the hairs against this tectorial membrane causes depolarization. 
in one direction depolarization vapasi pe that is deep hyperpolarization upper ends of the hair cells are fixed in reticular lamina maine diagram aage aa rahi hai lekin maine pehle ye abc and aise reticular lamina hai upper ends of the hair cells are fixed this reticular lamina is actually the separation point between the this um, perilymph and endolymph अपर एंड्स जो ये हैं रेटिकुलर एमना से ऊपर दैट इज इन दी एंडोलिम्प एंड हेयर सेल्स आर आल्सो एंडोलिम्प टेक्टोरियल मेम्ब्रेन एंड दिस लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द सेल इज सराउंडेड बाय द पेरिलिम्प सो द व्हाट इज दिस so the upper ends of the hair cells are fixed in reticular lamina reticular lamina are fixed to basilar fiber by the rods of cotta ya ke diagram aa rahi hai wahan pe explain karne pehle padh ke chale jaye so basilar fiber rods of cotta and reticular lamina basal this is the reticular lamina hair cells and rods of cotta uske sath connected on the basilar fiber they vibrate as uh, together as one unit so vibration of this whole structure cause is bending of the hair cells against the tectorial membrane and alternate depolarization hyperpolarization occurs ye ye diagram is better this is hair hair that basilar fiber these are the rods of cotti to which this is the reticular lamina is attached and hair cells are they are being um, embedded uh, um, bound together by the reticular lamina these hairs are towards the endolymph and the bases of the cells are in the peri this is the perilymph this is endolymph so when this this basilar fiber will vibrate when the basilar fiber will we have seen that that is place principle jo humne discuss kiya tha we have seen so basilar fiber when this vibrates aaj bhi baat karenge place principle when the basilar fiber vibrates this whole structure will vibrate so this up this will upward movement will pull the like this maybe it is moving in, in like this it up this is moving upward and downward and this structure is bending against hairs are bending against in this direction or in this direction so again the tectorial membrane endocochlear potential we have seen that that's the lower part when we measure the resting membrane potential here that is we place an electrode here inside the cell and one electrode in the perilymph then it will be recording resting membrane potential of minus 60 inside the this uh, hair cells but when we measure here upper end and the with respect to the um, endolymph it will be 140 because the there is the potential difference of this is plus 180 uh, um, plus 80 as compared to this perilymph so this is being a perilymph in uh, scalar vestibuli in scalar tympani similar to cerebrospinal fluid this we have seen and endolymph in the scalar media is a special fluid it is secreted by the stria vascularis and it is it contains very high level of potassium and low level of sodium but very high level of potassium is responsible for this positivity inside the scalar media potential difference of plus 80 as compared to the perilymph in the scalar media it is plus 80 as compared to perilymph and compared to cerebrospinal fluid resting membrane potential in the hair cell that the lower part of the hair cell is surrounded by the perilymph upper part is surrounded by the endolymph so basis of the hair cell there is resting membrane potential potential of minus 60 millivolts with respect to the perilymph and it is Uh, m- m- minus 140 millivolts uh, with respect to endolymph because the endolymph is plus as compared to this perilymph plus 80 millivolts so ye endocochlear potential movement of the endo um, uh, to into the endolymph causes depolarization this upward movement of the whole structure causes the depolarization of this so this depolarization alternates uh, hyper uh, depol so this uh, information will be transmitted into the cochlear nerve fiber we are going to see the uh, uh, auditory pathway to the auditory cortex wo humko dekhenge frequency how we our brain are uh, we are able to determine uh, the determination of the frequency this we have seen that is there are basilar fiber the length of the basilar fiber in the proximal part of the cochlea or the basilar membrane the fibers are short and thick 
and as we move from the proximal part to the helicotemal and to the tip of the cochlea the fibers become elongated they, they they increase in length but they become cylinders they are uh, uh, um, diameter they reduces so the these early basilar uh, fibers they can because of their uh, they are stout and small and thick they can vibrate at high frequency only um, but the middle medium frequency and towards the end frequency will be uh, reduced so so the determination of frequency young people can uh, deter, uh, can um, um, perceive this frequency between 20 cycles per second to 20000 cycles per second kitni badi range hai is range mein we can uh, listen and we can determine and discriminate different frequencies between these frequencies this is because of the place principle what is that which area of the basilar membrane will vibrate if early part vibrates with the sound, so it is from the early part, all these impulses will be going from the early part of the basilar membrane to the brain, there will be specific neurons stimulated, so the person, the brain will um, um, perceive it as high frequency sound. And when um, the frequency becomes uh, um, high frequency become medium frequencies so the middle part of the because of the resonant frequency of those basilar fiber which matches the frequency of the sound wave is in the middle part of the basilar membrane so maximum vibration will take place in that area so this is known as place principle Aage explain karte hai. high frequency vibrate the proximal portion of the basilar membrane to the maximum extent and the medium frequency will vibrate the middle portion of the basilar membrane to maximum extent. Low frequency sound will vibrate toward the end um, and the tip of the tip ke kareeb, distal portion of the basilar membrane will be vibrate maximum. So their specific areas are connected to the basilar fiber. So say this is basilar membrane. Ye area will be connected to specific area. Then next area, the kis kis jaga pe connected hai. Early part mein their thick fiber, then they will be vibrating. Resonant frequency, jo sound wave high frequency aa rahi hai. This resonant frequency will match. This area will be vibrating maximally. Or agar frequency kam hoti jati hai, ag agla area vibrate and very low frequencies with tip ke kareeb bhi maximum vibrate. Vibration. And this, these areas are connected to the specific areas in the uh, auditory cortex. Yeah, se signal jayenge, to specific neuron ko jayenge. So specific areas are connected to the specific neurons here. Specific areas of the basilar membrane, oh, sorry, uh, uh, yes, specific area of the basilar membrane or cochlea is connected to specific areas in the cortex as well. So from here, the, this is known as place principle. This is the diagram. Say so this vibration. This is transmitted, whatever the frequency is, a medium frequency. So, vibration will be taking place here in the early part of the bar. Maximum vibration will be taking place in this part. And beyond that, this vibration will die away. Aage jayegi ni, thodi si vibration. So, ye maximum vibration, just like a pair here, this area will be connected to the specific area in the auditory cortex. So, ye, ye play. which place of the basilar membrane is vibrating? This place. If the frequency is high, then the early part. If the frequency is also uh, more earlier part. Or the frequency comes at the tip of the. So this is place principle. So this is So the medium frequency up. Higher frequency will cause such diagram here in the early part of the basilar membrane. 4000 value and 2000 frequency is reducing. 1000 cycle per second. Pay. This part of the basilar membrane will be vibrating at 400 cycle per second, 200 cycle per second, last part of the basilar membrane will be vibrating. So the frequency is discri discriminated by the brain, which signals are coming from which part of the basilar membrane, which place of the basilar membrane is vibrating with this frequency, so that from here the brain computes or uh, analyzes the frequency, or uh, discriminates the frequency, which place of the basilar membrane is vibrating maximum. So this is known as place principle. This diagram will be done in one place. Which place is vibrating maximally? It will be known as place principle. One more thing. Three is written. Two. Three. Two is written. Two. Specific neurons are responsible for um, um, uh, specific frequency. This will be known as brain. Which neurons are stimulated there? 
So it's me. Or maybe there are specific hair cells in the organ of Kata which are involved in the um, for specific frequency. Wo pehle us pe stimulate nahi hote, wo apni khas frequency pe stimulate ho. Wo aage bhi ham loudness mein bhi dekhenge unka bhi role hai. So the wali of impulses principle. Jab frequency, higher frequency pe ye kaam nahi karta hai. This is increasing frequency, increases the number of impulses in the cochlear nerve fiber. This applies only to lower frequency. What, kya baat hai? Lower frequency ki side pe, main wapas jata hoon. Lower frequency will live in side pe. If the frequency is being reduced, number of impulses are also being reduced. Shuru mein to exact synchronization between the frequency and the number of impulses aise nahi hogi. Lekin yahan pe shayad synchronization hoti hai. If the frequency is reduced, number of impulses will be reduced. Jab aise aise kar rahe hai to you can imagine. Agar it is vibrating at high frequencies, number of impulses will be more in the cochlear nerve. So this implies to lower frequency side ke number of impulses be lower. 600 पे नंबर ऑफ इंपल्सेस से 500 है ये 600 है 400 पे 400 इंपल्सेस आर ग्रोइंग इससे भी पता चलेगा वॉलीज ऑफ इंपल्सेस जो आ रहे हैं कितने आ रहे हैं तो दी वॉलीज वॉलीज ऑफ इंपल्सेस प्रिंसिपल के कितने नंबर इंपल्सेस आ रहे हैं लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी जितनी होती है इंपल्सेस भी कम होते जाएंगे तो नंबर ऑफ इंपल्सेस आल्सो डिक्रीज इन दी वेरी लो फ्रीक्वेंसी साइड उस पे भी कम हो गए तो वॉलीज ये भी एक प्रिंसिपल है डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी का Determination of loudness. ये तो frequency है ना? Frequency is the function of uh, pitch is the frequency of this uh, uh, function of frequency. Loudness is the function of amplitude of the wave. हमने देखी थी शुरू में पहले वाली लेक्चर में amplitude of the wave. So uh, determination of the loudness. Loud कैसे पता चलता है? There are three methods. One is increase amplitude loud sound. High amplitude means loud sound of vibration causes more bending of air. You can imagine if it is vibrating high frequency, it's not vibration at the low frequency. Yes, it vibrate. If the magnitude of the vibration is more, more bending of the hair will be taking place against the tectorial membrane. You can imagine. If it is high frequency, it's bending a little bit. But if it is high amplitude, it's more bending. Of the homo pure cells, the bend of jang pure. So the increased bending of the hair and that will cause the rapid rates of excitation. Itni jada bending or yeah. Bending pe hota kya hua? Why it is deeper rise? It is being jab utsai pe bend hoga, there is opening of the channels. Agar bend and there is entry of the positive ion into this depolarization karte hai. Agar jada bend ho, more channels are open. So there is rapid rate of excitation. So this rapid rate of excitation will be transmitted and it will be a loud sound. So high amplitude sound or loud sound causes very rapid, more bending of the air cells, very rapid rate of excitation, the other number of impulses, uh, channels opening for the depolarization, very quick depolarization, rapid rate ho to usse bhi pata hai. Second is, increase amplitude of vibration, high uh, loud sound, number of cells stimulated in the organ of cartai. थोड़ी फ्रीक्वेंसी हो रही है मे बी वो थ्री थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड जितने भी हेयर सेल्स है उनमें से कितने इन्वॉल्व होते हैं अगर ज्यादा वाइब्रेट कर रहे हैं नंबर ऑफ सेल्स इन्वॉल्व इन दी स्टिमुलेशन दे आल्सो इंक्रीज लो फ्रीक्वेंसी पे नंबर ऑफ सेल्स स्टिमुलेटेड आर लेस एंड हाई मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन पे देर विल बी नंबर ऑफ सेल्स इन्वॉल्व इन दी नंबर ऑफ सेल्स इन्वॉल्व स्टिमुलेटेड इन आर्गन ऑफ काटाई समेशन ऑफ दीज ऑल नंबर ऑफ सेल्स विल का दी um, perception of loudness. This will be a loud sound. The other number of cells involved honge, high amplitude pe or loud sound pe number of cells yada stimulate honge or unki summation hongi to loud sound will be uh, um, uh, it will be determined, loudness will be determined by this. Or TC baad jo hai, there may be special hair cells ki jo aam taur par uh, come loudness pe stimulate hi nahi hote. 
زیادہ لاؤڈ ہوگی اونلی دین دے ول بی اسٹیمولیٹڈ دے آر ایمپلائڈ اونلی ایٹ دی ویری ہائی لاؤڈ ساؤنڈ سو دی اسپیشل ایئر سیلز وچ آر اسٹیمولیٹڈ بائی دی ہائی انٹینسٹی ساؤنڈ زیادہ لاؤڈ ساؤنڈ ہوں گی سو دی ایمپلیٹیوڈ آف وائبریشن زیادہ ہونے سے بینڈنگ زیادہ ہوتی ہے اس وجہ سے بھی اور نمبر آف سیلز انوالو ہوتے ہیں اس وجہ سے بھی لاؤڈنیس ڈٹرمن ہوتی ہے اور تیسری بات یہ ہے کہ زیادہ انٹینس ساؤنڈ کے لاؤڈ ساؤنڈ کے لیے اسپیشل نیورانز آر اسٹیمولیٹڈ تو ان تین میتھڈ سے ڈٹرمنیشن آف لاؤڈنیس بھی ہوتی ہے تو یہ آج کا چھوٹا لیکچر تھا دیٹ از دی وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کہ ہم نے میکنزم آف ہیئرنگ اور یہ فریکوینسی کو دیکھنا تھا یہ کچھ پارٹ ہم نے اس لیے درمیان میں رکھ دیا کہ اگر اس کو میں دوسرے لیکچر کے ساتھ لگاتا بہت لمبا ہو جاتا اس لیے میں نے یہ چھوٹا لیکچر درمیان میں رکھ لیا نیکسٹ ہمارا لیکچر ہوگا آرٹری پاتھ وے اینڈ آرٹری کارٹکس ہم دیکھیں گے کہ اسٹیمولیشن آف دس 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 اسٹیمولیشن از کنویڈ تھرو دی ڈفرینٹ اسٹیشن ٹو دی آرٹری کارٹکس ان دی اسپیریڈ ٹیمپورل گائرس اس کو ہم دیکھیں گے کہ کیسے اسٹیمولیٹ ہوتا ہے اور اس میں اور باتیں دیکھیں گے Thank you. Hope to see you in next video. Thank you very much.